What's going on guys, Andrew here, welcome back to Woof of This. Today I'm gonna to be checking out a fragrance from the House of Alexandria fragrances, and this is none other than Black Tie Affair. Alrighty, so I actually went ahead and kind of got the smaller ounce one. This is the 30 ml, so this one ran me like maybe 50 bucks on Amazon. I actually got it for probably like 45, but the shipping made it like $50. Just to give you a little close up here, I'll actually zoom in, let y'all see what it looks like. It looks a little more green, almost like a, almost Jolly Rancher or like lemon. You can definitely tell it looks like a citrus fragrance for sure. But like I said, I really like his little packaging with the woody. I like that he has like a wooden, a wooden top. On uh, some of them, they actually have a design on top of here with his logo. And he does have a newer bottle actually out for the like 100 ml versions. The funny thing about this is he makes a lot of fragrances that are inspired by or really clones of other fragrances. He does have his own, but this is inspired by Tuxedo. Uh, but he calls this one Black Tie Affair. And it actually shows Amber, Amber Patchouli and Violet Leaf on the top here. That's what he shows for the top three notes. Tuxedo by YSL is very expensive. And I was like, let me check this out because I was reading the reviews and they said it smells almost identical. Um, on top of that, it also lasts longer and actually has a little bit more depth than Tuxedo. So yeah, it is a unisex fragrance. It's an eau de parfum. It is an eau de parfum. I was about to say eau de toilette, but it's an eau de parfum. The notes in here are gonna be patchouli and ambergris, uh, black pepper, violet leaf, vanilla rose, coriander, and bergamot. He doesn't say in what order, if it's like the base or the, you know, base leaf, I'm sorry, base heart note, uh, top note. But I will say in the top notes, you definitely get as soon as you open it up. The opening is definitely citrusy. It's this nice, just aromatic, great smelling scent that you, I would honestly wear this year round. This is a great fragrance to honestly wear year round. You wear this in the office. You could wear this on a date. You can wear this at the amusement park. It's a great fragrance for the summer and the fall. It's a solid fragrance. I've gotten maybe like one compliment so far, but where I'm working at now, it's a little bit harder for me to get compliments. I just like smelling good at this point. As far as longevity, this this one doesn't last as long as I want it to, but I'm, I might be wrong about that because when I got home, my sister was like, what the world are you wearing? Um, she still smelled it and that was like 10 hours after I had put it on in the morning, which is like 10 o'clock So yeah, it definitely lasts for a nice amount of time I personally really love the opening of this fragrance and it's just one of those ones where like I feel really good when I'm just walking around I love this. I love the way it smells when I'm walking around especially during like when it's hotter outside It smells really good. I love this fragrance. This is probably one of my favorite ones from his house uh, Zion by Alexandra Fragrances is another really good one. Black Panther is another good one. I think I have Fame 15. I also have, uh, what else? Other 13 is another great one. I used to get a bunch of compliments on that at my other job when I would wear Other 13. That's a very interesting fragrance. If you want an interesting fragrance, you can definitely check out the video. I may even do another video on it. But until next time, you guys, peace out.